Welcome back to the Girl Cave. It's November and the color for the month is black. So I am excited. We just have November and December and we will have gone through the entire rainbow section of our papers. Here's what I have for black. I have a few. So I have one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which I just love this paper. And I keep my eight and a half and 11 at the front. I don't have that many. I have this one. For some reason, it reminds me of the Brighton hearts. I have this gorgeous paper. It's quite thick, actually. This is by BoundDetermined.com. I love this. This is black wood, but it it doesn't really look like wood. It looks more like, like a chalkboard. Of course, we have polka dots on the craft, polka dots on black. And this one is double-sided, so I have the white on black, and then I have the black on white. And I, I don't know, I think I like the this side better, but um, we'll see. We will see. There's that one. Definitely love this side better. I have two of those. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take this one and put it with my white because I really love that. And it's technically the same. Technically. So I might do that. I might put this one with my whites some more with a black solid i just love pokey dots they're fun they can be fun they can be elegant this one looks like stitched paper it has a little bit of texture to it and then there's it's almost like a grid but not quite this one is looks very formal mm, not totally in love but you know what i don't have that many so i'm gonna keep it i really like this one and we have the larger circles on the back. Gotta love me some text paper. And this text is in silver. It says, good times. So very endearing. So I'm keeping that. I have another one with text. I'm not really loving that, but I could always trim that. I have a stripe. This is more like silver on black. And I'm going to keep this one up front because it's not a 12 by 12. None of these are 12 by 12. I don't know what size is it. It's a geometric. That's a geometric. So I'm going to keep these up front because they are larger pieces. Look at that. More polka dots. But this one, tell me how it looks on camera for you. But it, it is doing tricks on my eyes, that one. Look at this one. I love the little gold stars. It looks very primitive, actually. I love it. I have the leaves. This one came from Paper Pad, I can see. I have two of those. This one's all right. I have three. I might be able to get rid of one. So I'll put this one in the purge pile. Because I definitely don't need three. This one I truly, truly love. And didn't I have this one in my grays? Because it's between gray and black, so I'm I'm happy that I have one in each category. Because, you know, you go through papers and it just might spark some inspiration. I've got music notes. And the back is really cool and funky. Now, I don't see myself using that side. But I'll use this side. More polka dots. I can't tell what color those polka dots are. Like, like maybe a light tan. I would think it... They're not quite blue. Oh, maybe they are. Then I have this one that has the tan, the blue, and the red polka dots. This is by Grandpa's Attic, and it has a really nice red on the background. I have this one, which I also love, so I'm keeping it. More solids. More circles. This one is quite playful. That's that's nice. That would be good for a Disney page. See, I don't this one is too plain for me, so I would really like this side. I have this one geometric with the concentric circles. I like that. We'll keep that. Some pinstripes. I think I have some of these in my charcoal gray. 
and I have another pinstripe. Oh, I have lots of pinstripes. Look at that. But this one's a different, it's a little different, but not much. Do I need so many pinstripes? Probably not. But since I don't have a lot of black and white paper, I might keep that one. This one I'm not too crazy about. This is SEI, but you never know. I have this. I have this one. This one actually reminds me of like a mummy wrapping. That might be good in my Halloween stash. It's called Thunderstorm. It's pretty cool. The white does something to my eyes, but the black is okay. This one is very formal. So is this one. This one is very cute. I like that. I like that pattern. Look at this one. Live a carefree life and be happy. Oh, I love this. I didn't even remember having this. I don't remember ever seeing it, but I like it. I love this one too. So playful. I have two of those. Good grief. You know, you would think that this pattern would do something to your eyes, but it, it doesn't. I don't know why. But it's busy. That's for sure. And there it is in white. Mm, yeah, I like the black one better. Very busy. Look at this. I like that. This is a little busy. Okay, so I have two of those. But I like it. It looks very grungy. I really like this paper. It would be very masculine. And I have it in a little bit darker variation. And then I have this one. Hmm. When would I use this? I don't know. Like if I did a layout about jewelry. That's. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But you never know. Like if I, I dress up. I really. I'm not really sure about this. You know what? I'm going to purge it. Because I can't see myself using it. Then I have these. These are kind of boring. But sometimes you need boring paper. To act as the secondary or even third element these i love i have three i really like them. and i love the orange too then i have this one which is okay i'll keep that one so what did i purge two sheets of paper <laughs> two sheets of paper and this one is i really like it but i just i have three i'm not gonna use three and this is not bad but i'm not I know that I won't use it. Like, I'm not going to make a layout of jewelry or getting dressed up like that. Which paper will I use? Come back and find out. Sarah from Rediscover Your Scraps is having a challenge in the month of November. And it's to use your colored cardstock. Because, you know, we have a lot of that. So I decided to jump on that challenge and use my solid uh, colored cardstock in black. Because, you know, sometimes we think that black has to be a serious layout or a formal layout. And I wanted to show that it can be playful and it could be fun. I used my tiniest of scraps. This was a die cut that I wasn't going to use. So I used my hexi to punch it. And if you could see like these, these, one, two, actually one, two, three, four, five, Six of those hexagons, I did not have a scrap that was wide enough, so they are partial hexes. So I hid them behind the picture, and I just love how this turned out. I have a little word there, so I put a hexi has a little word there because I have my title here. So now I have text in my three areas, and I'm not gonna say it was quick because trying to get those hexagons just right took a little time. But it is a very simple layout and it's very colorful even though I'm using black. And I used up a lot of my scraps. This die cut was a mandala and it was beautiful but I, it's not my style. I wasn't going to use it. So I punched it and it's this one and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm zooming into my title because I did not have a title in that color but I really love the phrase stay wild so I use these thickers and they were white so what I did was I roughed up the edges just a little bit with a 
nail file and then I inked it in orange and I am praying that the color stays on it <laughs> but look oh my god I have to go to work tomorrow and I I look like I ate a whole bag of Cheetos <laughs> you know what creativity is messy at times but it's always fun I'm so happy with my layout and I'm so happy that you're here and don't forget that in the following weeks the other girls are going to show you what they create with their black paper and we are so looking forward to next year we have a surprise for you please give this video a like and if you haven't done so yet subscribe to my channel i would love to have you be part of our community i'll see you again next week bye